uh, Nick and Kirsty Peterson from Rosemont, Minnesota. I've uh, been coming to Knoxville for, I've been coming for about 25 years. Um, dad grew up by Doug Wolf Gang, so got into racing that way. And then my cousin Clint Garner got into racing, so he's been coming to Knoxville since about 2002. And we started coming, got 11 or 12 years ago every weekend and been enjoying it ever since. Honestly, it came about exactly a year ago. We were sitting in the lobby talking to Doug Clark and John McCoy and kind of talking about what's going, what's new for next year. Colleen, who's been running the concessions for 41 years, is retiring and that they're kind of looking to do something with um, somebody taking it over. And Doug Clark goes, well, Nick works in food because that's what I do is food sales. So we started talking about, you know, what they were looking for and kind of contracting it out. So one conversation led to another one and um, we started taking it over in April and had a great year. Since this was our first year, it was um, we just needed to kind of get our feet wet and dive in. Um, so I would say not knowing always every night how many people to staff. Um, for us, as far as like inventory with food, uh, making sure that we always had enough out, but that it was fresh enough too. And, um, you know, just making sure, like I said, that things were fresh and um, just the basics, I guess. And the burrito bowls were new this year. Not that those are a challenge, but they're a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of preparation goes into that. So um, starting our days early, earlier to get those ready is a challenge sometimes. Um, I just, yeah, I mean, one thing that I'm really proud of is the team. Um, getting into it, we didn't really know where we fit into the equation compared to the staff that had been there for so long. So the first couple of weeks were kind of, I don't want to say bumping heads, but just a little bit of a struggle. But by the end of the year, I mean, we had a great, great, great team. I mean, Gary Smith, um, Donna, um, Pat Parker, um, Terry Tat. I mean, I could go on and on. Sherry. But by the end of the year, I mean, we were really gelling. Things were going good, which was great because near the end of the year, we had the Nationals and the late model Nationals. And those were some of our easier nights. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I was really proud about from April to the end of August where we came and so it was really good. Uh, we usually start on Saturday morning around, I'll say 10, 11 in the morning, and we're working straight through till the end of the night um, after the races. So for, as far as like pr food prep, definitely those, you know, five, six hours to get everything ready. We usually cook about 100 to 120 pounds of meat every Saturday. Uh, for the nachos, that takes some time to, to get that much cooked. And then obviously I already mentioned the burrito bowls. Um, they're all fresh, made from scratch. So it takes some time to prepare those. There is definitely work on Sundays. Yeah, we need to, you know, dump the, the fryer oil and the grease and things like that. Um, probably, I would say, two hours on Sunday, just making sure everything's cleaned up. Yeah, and I got to give a shout out. Gary Smith does a ton of that. He comes in Sunday mornings at 7 in the morning, and we'll come in at about 9, and he's already got a couple hours done. Then we'll kind of go through and throw stuff away and figure out the order for the following week and get ready. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a process between all day mm -hmm. Saturday and then Sunday from Sunday morning to, uh, you know, there's a lot of times where I even stayed on Mondays just to, uh, you know, go through all the old food and redo the order. And so, yeah, there's quite a bit that goes into it. Yeah. The first beginning of the year, there was a couple of rain outs where we were ready to go. And um, about three o'clock, it started raining. So, but some of the stuff like the hamburger we could keep for the following week. But um, yeah, definitely still takes a lot and rain outs. I hope next year we get as lucky as we did this year because, I mean, to have no rain during the Nationals and the 360 Nationals and the late models was, I mean, I can't imagine having a rain out during the 410 Nationals, so knock on wood that that doesn't happen, but uh, yeah, we were pretty lucky this year. I love our taco salads, um, and I'm super partial to the tenderloins. My, those are my personal two favorite. No, I'd have to say the pork tenderloin for sure. Well, I didn't use so those things. Tenderloins. For sure. Popcorn. And popcorn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tenderloins and popcorn for sure. We're really looking at ways of enhancing the service to the suites. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really trying to, with the Brian Clausen Suite in the Hall of Fame, how can we capture some of that, um, maybe do some more catering stuff. Uh, we're also looking at doing some barbecue items. So uh, the burrito bowl stand did good on its first year, so we're going to keep that for next year, but maybe throw some pulled pork and some brisket down there and just kind of see what happens. 
the one thing, uh, like I mentioned earlier about learning a lot, um, there is no possible way that we could have gotten through this year without the help from the fair board. I mean, their support has been absolutely amazing. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes and being exposed to some of that this year with running concessions. Um, Knoxville Raceway is truly top notch in everything that they do. And that starts with the team of people that they have there. So um, thank you to everybody, our fans, um, customers every single week, our employees, just yeah, Matt, couldn't have done it without anybody. Matt Jewel Racing was a big help this year. Um, ran our logo on his car. Um, talked to some other drivers about doing it for next year. So, and also like came about today, Alan D. High is doing the deal for the 360. So we're gonna sponsor that in the next coming three years. So real excited about the stuff that's happened. Um, I mean, gotta thank John McCoy, the fair board, Gary Schumacher, Kendra, um, you. So thank you to everybody. It's been a, it's been an awesome year and we're really excited for 2018.